Well, hello there. That was kind of weird. Um, I had zero hours of sleep last night. I'm currently on 42 hours without sleep, so if I sound delirious, I stutter, I stumble upon my words, and that is that is why, my friend. Um, yeah, sorry for the lack of variety in the gameplay. Um, you know, the, whenever I use the guns that I enjoy, I tend to do well, and those are the games I save. I'm definitely going to try and, you know, test out some new setups, you know, get some gameplays with the MP7 again, because that gun's friggin' amazing. Or, uh, you know, some, some weird stuff. Um, for example, I found out recently that if you put a, a, a grenade launcher or a shotgun attachment on the CM901, its rate of fire goes up by 100 bullets per bullets per minute, I believe, making it a much, much better gun. So if you guys haven't tried it, try the CM901 assault rifle with the noob tube attachment or the shotgun, and please do not use the noob tube. Just, you know, use the gun. Be a respectful guy. You know, be nice. Um, anyway, this is probably the last gameplay. You're going to see me using the FMG9s, you know, maybe every once in a while if I feel like trying my ass off, but... I unlock the Akimbo Scorpions, and not only do they feel a lot less newbie, and that you have to actually have aim, but uh, I like the feel of them, you know? They're kind of cool. I was spurred upon them by watching a, an Excalizor's video. I think it was like a 39 and 3, you know, um, kill confirmed with the striker. MOAB with the striker. It was pretty fucking ridiculous gameplay, if you ask me. One of the best I've seen so far on. Uh, on Modern Warfare 3 for sure. If you guys don't know who XCal is, uh, just type his name into YouTube. Probably the best player out there. Best player I've ever seen, anyway. But anyway, picked off from the side here by some douchebag. Get the fuck out of here. In this gameplay, I'm using the Reaper and the Precision Airstrike. For some some reason, I will probably never know. Thing is terrible. Never use the precision airstrike for any reason whatsoever. Not only was it a shitty kill streak on Modern Warfare 2 when half the maps were completely wide open, you know, like Afghan or something, but uh, they barely changed in this game, and all of the maps are filled with fucking buildings everywhere, making it even more useless. So definitely don't use that thing. It's a piece of crap. Um, I think I get. I think I get zero kills with this one. Uh, and then you'll see, I have it like later on in the game. I don't want to find next Reaper, I believe. But later on in the game, I get another precision airstrike. And I swear to God, some kid called him an advanced UAV. And the entire enemy team was like having a fucking, you know, tribal meeting on the left side of the map. Out in the open, too. And I dropped the precision airstrike right on top of their heads. And nothing happened. I think I got one kill, so. Which gives you an example. I mean, maybe village, but even then, that giant ass cave kind of, you know, dilutes the possibilities of that happening. Um, I don't know. These guns are so ridiculous. Alright, guys, so everyone bitched about the models. Or <laughs> everyone bitched about the guillotines, so let's just make the guillotines shit in this game, and then bring back something else and make them identical. Fucking retarded. If anything, why didn't they just make the guillotines as good as they were in Modern Warfare 2? These things are ugly as hell, too. I like the way the guillotines look. You felt like you're, you know, about to go on some some drive-by or something. Like, look at this. Look at all the red dots there. Like, a drive-by, like all the all the rap stars tell you is the cool thing to do, you know. I'm just kidding. Drive-bys aren't cool. They're pretty fucking screwed up. Either way, um, you see that? One kill. Their whole team was right there. Run off my Reaper, you stupid me, but I ran back out, and I got the Thermal Type 95 takes me out, so. We may need to get some uh, Thermal Assault Rifle gameplay, because unlike uh, the previous Call of Duties that have had the Thermal Attachment, the Thermal Sight in this game really doesn't add any recoil at all. If anything, it's, you know, barely noticeable, or akin to something that, you know, maybe an ACOG Sight would, would you know, bring to the table. So, uh, this kid's a long range, so I flash him first, but, you know, it makes it really useful. I mean, that one, it's a good, it's a good attachment. 
Uh, the only problem is a lot of people use Assassin, but uh, obviously, you know, it's not a good attachment, but it's a fun attachment. That's what I meant to say. So I'll try and get some gameplay of that. And uh, I don't know what the f this is really annoying. Uh, one kill left. I just shit on this kid so badly. I guess he had to dashboard. One kill left, and the motherfucker decides to dashboard. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. The final score, I believe, was 32 and four. But you'll never know that unless you count them all up. So if someone wants to do that, I will donate a cookie to you, sir. Peace.